Hey y'all, this is Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into a video that was released about Arm discussing his child and why people believe this to be real for such a long time now. I also want to get into a Jungkook band in an Asian country and this over the fact that people think he's gay. So grab your dumplings, he's filling my merch and let's jump into the tape. But before we do, we do have a sponsor for today's video so let's roll that. I'm so excited to announce that today's video is once again sponsored by Raycon. Thank you so much, we love and appreciate you. I currently use Raycon to listen to K-pop podcasts like the one from Eric Nam or whatever playlist BTS members currently recommend to us. The cool thing about Raycon is that they now have a 32 hour battery life. So they'll last you your entire work slash school day. They're extremely comfortable. As you can see, they do not come out or really move at all. It does come with gel tips. So you can put the appropriate one for your ear for an even better fit. They have a 45 day happiness guarantee. If you are not happy, you can return it within that time. But if you don't like these, you're not going to find much better ones on the market. These are half the price of the other premium earbuds on the market with the same if not better audio quality and i even have a discount link for you so if you go to buyraycon.com slash dave decide or click the link in the top of the description you'll be able to get 15 percent off your raycon purchase so make sure you go over there and check that out and thank them for sponsoring and supporting the channel now back to the video if you're new here and you're interested in this type of stuff please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified and some new video drops and if you're a hater like to be first leave your hate comment please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also and you'll be first to do so now let's jump into it the first thing i want to get into is why people think thought for the longest time arm had a child now in order to explain that if you're a baby army we need to zoom out just a little bit as obviously having a child out of wedlock is definitely considered a scandal so not only do people think he has a child but they definitely think he is married arm has shown several signs of playing with his rings and taking them off and usually these rings are on his ring finger this is of course a big deal but also taking consideration a lot of people wear rings on their ring finger because it just might fit better there or they're just doing it to see how it looks this i believe was on the jimmy fallon show where BTS was supposed to answer questions on rumors and things like that and simply ARM's reaction to the rumors in general was funny. He looked so sad and was almost crying saying please stop no more rumors. This also shows how often they might be online to see the rumors and know that there are lots of rumors. Maybe they didn't know to the extent where they knew every rumor but I am sure they know the big ones in the fandom. So we established that everyone believes he is married. ARM also has talked about wanting to settle down eventually. He is older and at the age where people can get married and the rumors are funny and cute because everyone who is saying this is just hoping he gets married and becomes happy. There then starts floating around photos of him around children and just how good he is with children. And people started to think if these were his children or where is he getting these children? Well, sometimes they use children for their music videos so that would explain that and even in performances. And I want to note, even if you don't see the child in a music video, it doesn't mean it's RM's child. BTS and Big Hit have probably filmed so many videos that they are bound to have thrown some away and deleted them so maybe that's where those children went in the garbage like where children belong <laughs> i'm kidding there was this clip that kind of went viral for a long time and i didn't understand at first because people had pointed out some things that were a little interesting this was during one time of their celebrations and they got together to answer questions and kind of reminisce about what they have done in their career and what they would like to do by the way this is important to do we should all take the time to think about what we've done and be proud of ourselves even if you feel like it's not much it's what you're doing and what you're meant to do. Anywho, the thing people found to be the most shocking was when Tang blurted out of nowhere. Well, he was asked like future plans and Tang said that he would like to see your kids. And people were saying Tang was specifically looking at RM. He wasn't faced to any of the other members. Tang is also known to not be able to keep a secret as he has apparently blurted out spoilers and such before. So people have taken that to mean he might know something. People also talked about how the reaction seemed a bit strange, like they started laughing and freaking out. And I can see what they're talking about. Like if Tang said to me, I want to see your kids. My reaction would either be me saying, hopefully when I'm older and I can find someone or I don't have kids. But hey, everyone reacts differently and it probably was such an unexpected thing to say that they freaked out over it. Of course, they clarified that Tang likely meant in the future, which is honestly what I thought when I first heard it. I didn't really think it needed clarification, but of course, since these rumors exist, it definitely does. But one of the rumors that really drives home the idea that he is with child or has child, so many people ask about his child. No one wants to be his child. I would love to be adopted by RM. RM is daddy. Anyway, he did a video and I found out it was from a Bang Tan Bang episode where RM has jokingly said his child has learned Korean at the age of four. The child would be about five now and people of course took this as him saying he has a child that is four or five now. He said child is very smart. I don't think I knew English that well until I was much older. This child is already smarter than me and no surprise, RM has an IQ of 9,000. Just give me a portion of that IQ and I would do 
nothing with it. Let's be honest. I'm not here to change the world. I just want to nap. Arm is so funny and I really love that he kind of fed into this a little bit and kind of joked with the fandom. It's pretty obvious he is aware of these rumors and maybe is okay with it. If it was something that bothered him a lot or something he wanted to clarify, he probably would have addressed it in a recent live stream or something. But I see that maybe he doesn't really care and it obviously does not hurt him whether he has a child or not. A lot of armies say that they won't be shocked if RM does come out and confess this, but let's be honest, we'd be shocked. It would be a little different. Like one of your friends just announced they're pregnant. It would be a big deal and the internet would no doubt explode. And for that reason, I believe RM might wait until the spotlight is not entirely on them before they go ahead and have children. Right now, it would be stressful to deal with a child and also deal with some of the crazy theories that would come about from having a child. Like imagine then haters having something to say like RM would be a bad father or that he did something abusive that he never did. That would be so stressful as a new father, but also it can cause actual problems as CPS, Child Protective Services, right? Might actually launch an investigation and then somehow manage to still do their career. Not a great place to be. These stories are always so crazy and they hurt people. For Jungkook's birthday, there was this story about a bunch of armies from Pakistan and I believe pitched in their money to buy a big poster to be hung at what looks like a small apartment complex. It says happy 24th on it and the colors of the poster are BTS colors, blue and pink. The words anyway. The rest of the poster was yellow, probably to represent butter. Now this poster was taken down very quickly and of course the people who paid for it probably don't get their money back. And I thought it was a beautiful gesture and let's be honest here, the news coverage of the billboard probably reached more people so they got their money's worth. But the reason it was taken down, because it apparently promoted being gay. And there's something gay about the poster other than the fact that you would think the person in the photo is gay. At least that's my conspiracy. The people who put up the poster must have been a private company or something. They had no idea who Jungkook was or anything like that. But if you didn't know, anyone can get a billboard. It's not gate kept by people in the industry or only for famous people. If you have the money, you can just buy a spot. So the company was just doing their job and put up the poster. The company got a call later that night from government officials or something saying that the billboard needs to go. Apparently there were a lot of complaints about the poster and the government said that the poster causes negative influence on the young people in that area. Quoted from the Republic World, they said, there are young people in this city, this group BTS has a negative influence on them and encourage them to behave in wrong activities. They promote homosexuality. This is very annoying to me because every group and every idol in 2021 quote unquote promotes homosexuality and being gay because there's nothing wrong with that. But those idols are still allowed to be advertised in their media. Meanwhile, this poster never said anywhere nor hinted anywhere anything about being gay or reference towards gayness or anything like that at all. It simply existing was enough for it to be offensive. People really hate Korean men, like really hate with a burning passion because they didn't say it was because they thought Jungkook was gay. It's that Jungkook existing promotes being gay. It's so weird that people would take the time to sit there and file a formal complaint about a poster and then make the government take it down. Like a poster literally wishing someone happy birthday becomes so political that it's offensive. Like what? I'm over it. Remember to send love, not hate. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section right down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for the comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check that out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down, so to keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you like to see over there. And we do have a great time interacting and having fun over there. So if you're interested in any of that, link is in the top description down below. There's also a video over there that kind of goes over how you can support the channel even more if you like to do that. Make sure you go over there and check it out. It's on the front page. With that, so there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those. I'll see you over there. Bye.